Dear civil engineers, this is Hidayatullah from e School of Civil Engineering. In this lecture, I am just going to show that now how we will transfer our river or I will copy our river from that column and foundation to another three column or foundation. Okay, and also how we will uh, copy our reinforcement from that uh, beam to here and uh, this beam to here. Okay, so first of all i need to create view list i mean uh, another windows so i'll just go view list and from here i need from i mean i need plan at elevation zero zero okay and i'll click okay after that i'll click here and tilt vertically now they have one horizontal and one vertical and suppose you need to move that plane or if you see that here your plane is in 3d then what you, what you actually do okay what you can do just simply go here view then switch to 3d or plane just see here your plane is at elevation plus 0 0 but it's showing you in 3d view okay so again i'll click here like that now to copy actually what we want to copy first of all we have to find out that what we want to copy i need to copy actually when your structure is small then we can create reinforcement detailing or the separate way but when you are working with a big project where use elements are available then you have to use that copy paste option to reduce your time okay so here uh, i'll just open that option so that i can find out what i have selected so first of all what i need to copy i need to copy that press control i need to copy that foundation beam foundation river then our starter river then our column river just see i have selected three component okay from here now i'll just go edit from edit i'll go copy and from copy it's telling us pick the origin for copying so i'll pick the origin this is our origin must remember point of intersection okay so i'll click here now where i want to copy actually so i want to copy here and when i'll click here it will take some time as per your pc requirement okay so if i just come here just see here it's have been created okay it's have been created here so uh, actually uh, for this case our this foundation and column river and also another foundation and column river that are same that's why i'll also copy here in that intersection and also i'll copy in that intersection just see here we have created how easily now for our beam we'll do same work i'll press escape and from here i'll just click on that sorry i'll skip it i'll skip and i'll interrupt okay and from here we have selected our beam river okay now uh, same way i'll click copy from here i mean from that intersection okay i'll press our next intersection here and see our reinforcement have been moved again i'll close and from here again i'll select our river like that and again i'll click copy and i'll select origin of that river and i'll go here you see we have created reinforcement for our all structure now i'll just close it for our all member we have created reinforcement detailing now i will create our slab okay i'll create slab on our that model now how we will create slab on our model 
okay so first of all i'll go here concrete and from concrete i'll just first of all i'll uh, copy that our beam to our that ground floor um, i mean our that first floor or rope level okay i'll copy that beam so how will copy that simply press ctrl copy all of that element and uh, it's better if you press uh, from here view go to render view and if you vs i mean press the parts rendered you see all of that member have been parts member render and here also click and also click here also you can uh, press ctrl 4 for it now click that beam press ctrl click that on that on and that on after that we have to copy it okay so in which direction we'll copy actually in which direction so i'll just go here edit okay then a special copy from here linear so in z dz direction how much we need in z uh, dz direction 10 feet okay that means 100 one to zero feet then click ok so from here we'll click here okay so after that when it's done So when it's done okay now it should be selected it should be selected and i'll go again edit a special copy and linear already it's given 10 feet and i'll click here copy just see our beam have been copied now i'll close it i'll close it and i'll click here after that if you need to change that beam or it's pop part then just simply double click here and from here you are able to change that okay as previously have done it i'll just close it now we will create our slab okay so how we will create our slab to create slab from here i'll go here windows view list and i'll remove that plan and from here i'll take a plan at elevation 10 then i'll take here and then click ok now in that place okay in that place we will create our i will click here then tilt vertically here we'll create our slab so to create slab simply go to concrete slab here slab and to create slab click that intersection or point click that intersection or point click here and after coming here double click you see our slab have been created i will skip okay so here our slab have been created and by pressing i mean after double click here you can change the slab property so here thickness 8 inch i'll change that slab thickness to 5 inch and materials here 3 ksi compressive strength materials we are using so class 4 that's not fair actually depth okay where we want to place behind that means uh below that zero level so i will use that option okay after that simply click modify now you can see here is our view okay after that i'll close it after that i'll close it i'll escape and here 
now i'll show you how we will create reinforcement on our slab okay so uh, to create reinforcement in our slab we have to click here application and component and we have to search here slab okay slab bars you can see here there are many options actually for composite slab then the many types of slab actually so i will use slab bar and also you can use that option uh, i mean if you know the number 18 then also if you press here 18 it will come clear so select that one okay after selecting i will just it's telling us pick object i'll simply click that object and see here reinforcement have been placed okay after that i'll close it also i'll close it and to i mean to if we need to change or that properties okay if we need to change our slab reinforcement property then what we'll do i'll double click here sorry i'll press control control two for this types of view now i'll double click here for a reinforcement detailing okay now what will be the clear cover in top and in bottom okay now here i will provide clear cover 0 0.75 inch and here 3 by 4 i mean 0 0.75 inch okay i'll just provide it after that when it's done for our that river okay uh, from face how much away the river will create also you can change that okay now create bars so the both side primary part direction use slab x direction you have to select that one okay so here uh, in uh, y direction okay uh, i mean in which direction your primary bar will be here so in y direction we will provide our primary bar because this is the shorter direction and our x direction are longer direction so i'll use that direction and up direction okay so what will be the up direction auto i'll select auto and um, create bars in both sides okay we'll create bar in both side or if you need only bottom side or if you need only top side then also you can create that so if you need bar in only uh, bottom side and if you click on modify just see the one layer of river are available so i'll create for both side at this time and in our another lecture i'll show that how we'll create crank bar on it okay sorry after that uh, after changing that if we go for our bottom river just see here our diameter of primary bar are available um, diameter of primary sorry grade of primary bar and diameter of primary bar so i'll change that i will use number three bar i'll change it and from here you can select the grade of your steel and after that i will use number three main bar okay after three main bar then i'll click okay this is for our bottom bar and a spacing of primary bars so what should be the spacing of your primary bar so and here section type they have number of bar by exact spacing so, a spacing of primary bar what should be the spacing of primary bar so suppose i'll consider our primary bar will be seven inch or uh, five inch clear and here this is for the diameter of our spacing bar i mean, I mean our secondary bar so from here i will use that one okay and then number three spacing type here and the spacing i'll consider that spacing will be seven inch okay then cover or 
cover thickness on side okay side cover thickness what should be the side cover thickness is also 0 0.75 inch okay and here bar generating type bar group mesh or bar group so it should be default and cross bar location it should be above or below so uh, i will leave it default in condition left okay they have many option actually they have many option in condition left so what should be the in condition of our bar it should be uh, straight so if you need to use 90 degree then you can use here as 90 degree the band length left what should be the band length so if as our the bar is six inch if you need to provide band length, uh, band length so you can uh, so I, as our slab thickness are five inch so i can select here for 2.5 inch okay i can select 2.5 inch and in condition right in condition right so this is for left in condition and this is for right okay and here also i'll consider 90 degree and from here i'll uh, consider 2.5 inch and in bar for top this is for uh, bottom condition and in condition top in condition uh, uh, band length top so if you need to change that you can do it so i'll also consider 90 degree and i'll provide a 2.5 inch and here for bottom 90 degree and here 2.5 inch after that i'll go here top bar same everything i have to do here same okay so from here actually i'll just change it in bar 3 main okay and i'll use its spacing for 5 5 inch and for great i'll click here uh, here and after that that is 7 inch actually i'm just giving here a random value if you need to uh, change it you can do it cover 3 by 4 inch okay so uh, it's done and after that same way you can do it as per your requirement okay now i'll click modify and i'll click apply then okay now if you just go here here is our river okay here is our river and for our bottom bar you can see if you just come here here just see this is our slab bottom river that have a good bending okay that have a good bending but for top we didn't consider anything just see here for bottom bar they have bent right they have bent but for our top we didn't provide any band or anything that's why they have no issue so this is the way that how we'll create our okay how we'll create our reinforcement detailing for our slab also so we have completed our one story one room uh, structure for simple practice in our next lecture i will show you about that how we'll create our rain i mean uh, drawing sheet for that model so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video and if you want to support us then join as a member in our channel so thank you thank you very much